What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to Empire, my favorite shop. I call it a shop because it's more of a shop than a dealership. Because a dealership just wants to sell you and get your money. A shop wants to keep you safe and on the road. That's why I like them. Shell's got me uh, set up with this lovely Speed Twin. Oh gosh, 1200cc is a pure awesome. Hey, look at that Harley. All right, enough yapping. Let's get riding. Ugh. Yep, suspension's stiff. This is good, good for road. I like my suspension, my suspension's soft. Actually, yeah, take a different route than this one, Mike. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna go, actually. I'll go down towards the school. How about that? Kind of change up the scenery a little bit. I already love this. This is nice. This is nice. I don't even know what gear I'm in. Yeah, the sit speed is kind of throwing me off just a little bit. I'm used to five. Okay, that sits. Okay, all right. All right, checks out. Triumph has redesigned their seats apparently because this seat is kind of like the Scrambler test road and it's, ooh, I mean, for stock exhaust, that's not bad. So it's very, very firm, very firm seat. So if you're going long distance on this thing, you'll be pretty comfortable. Let's see, anyone going straight? No? Yet. <laughs> you know, okay, here's the thing. So the whole reason why I don't get a speed triple is because I know I'm gonna get myself in trouble. The whole reason why I didn't start out with a sport bike and more of a roadster bike, like my Thruxton, is because I knew I was gonna get in trouble. I feel like I could get in trouble with this. And not trouble like danger trouble, I mean, trouble like with the law trouble i guess don't get caught <laughs> you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna go broadway yeah let's go broadway Handles nicely though. So I read up a little bit about the Speed Twin back, oh, I think about the 60s. Triumph had a Speed Twin much smaller than this. They brought it back with the 1200 with the Thruxton engine, which Shell was right. Holy shit. Whew. And it's kind of nice Triumph does that with their bikes and their models. They kind of bring back that heritage that that style. Uh, apparently I hit my high beams. Hey. Oh, so, okay. So your high beams are on the front. You got your mode switch right there. You got your little horn button right there. Little red lever, like on the scrambler. Oh man. Ooh. Okay, this thing loves the street. We'll go down here, so get out of traffic and all that. We'll see how long it takes for this light to change. Oh, there we go. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah, this thing is way faster than my Thruxton. Oh, geez. So anyways, like I was saying, it's nice that Triumph brings back their old models and redoes them in a way that is new. And it looks good. And it feels good. The arterial turn. It's dead end. Oh. 
<laughs> I was in third. Oh, I should have took the scrambler down on this road. But I'm not taking this on the dirt. Hell no. Oh, wow. It's so smooth. My handlebars, the way they're positioned, they're, they're good for street. Uh, let's see, a sprig. Let's go. Jesus. Jesus. Just sweet Jesus. Yeah, this thing, holy shit. Oh, well, let's, let's go ahead and bring her on back. This thing is just fucking mental. I love it. Uh, anyways, yeah, the bars feel good. Oh, yep, definitely stiff suspension. Uh, not good for the guys. My blinker still on. They never, that's okay. That's that's the one thing about these these, uh, these switches is on my thrust in. There's a little toggle button, a little micro switch in the center, and you flip it one side and it goes back to the center. Uh, and you push it in to turn it off Same thing, but there's no toggle button. It's on the inside and I Keep forgetting to push it in. I am going left I do believe Let's see I think I'm doing more of a round of roundy 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 bound Circle I'm going to circle. Oh, I think I wanted to go that way Is this Broadway? No, no, this isn't Broadway. Good strip for drag racing. Ah, and that's a fucking beaver rat. Holy fucking shit. Woo. Man, loud exhaust. Just get yourself some loud exhaust on this thing. You won't have that problem. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that hurt. I think I want to go down straight. But if you're looking for a something that's gonna light fire under your ass, but doesn't look like a sport bike, oh, well, this is the bike for you, buddy. That's exactly what this bike is. It's a sport bike without looking like a sport bike. Okay, come on, give me a green arrow. Thank you. Nope, I go, not you. Overall, I think this is a fun bike. I think it is a long lasting bike. I don't think you get bored with it. I mean, I'm still not bored with my Thruxton. It's a 900, 865 to be technical. Let's see, I kind of want to, should I? Yeah, let's try the braking. Let's see how the, uh... ooh, that braking is nice. Holy shit. Shiller's right, that I don't even know if I kicked in the ABS, but that thing just... I think I do want the left lane, though. Maybe I want the right lane. Got my blinker on. Always safe riding practices. I keep... Okay, that's kind of annoying. So, two complaints, really. Actually, three, and they're super minor. The high beam is right there where my finger is. I don't like that. The blinker toggle switch with, uh, without the micro switch on the outside. Uh, not my favorite. And the horn right there as a lever. Other than that, this bike is solid. I love it. Uh, price tag. 14 grand. That is the downside of the newer Triumphs. They're a little bit more expensive than the... 900 models, but it's got it's got a lot more they got a lot more going on with them than The air-cooled ones did So it makes sense. It's got to be more diligent and save your money. Yeah, this thing Oh Man, this is this this gives you confidence. That's for sure in traffic. Yeah, you'd be fine This 1200 engine 
it'll pull you out of trouble, no problem. What's nice about this too is I can sit up straight and be fine. Look at all these sticks. Yeah, the road's just really putting me through the test today, isn't it? But once again, stock exhaust is very tamed for you guys who don't like loud exhaust, of course. There's companies like British Customs and which personally is my favorite aftermarket Triumph Heart place as well as other aftermarket exhaust for this I'm sure if you want to get louder exhaust on this which I personally would recommend but if that's not your thing that's okay because this is a uh, this is pretty quiet it's a lot like my threats in before I did the modifications with the exhaust an example British custom slash guy TT exhaust and it opened it up pretty good Not bad. Not bad on cornering at all. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get it. So let's, uh, I want to get this turned in so <laughs> I can ride the street trip. Cool. It's a good day today. It's a very good day. Fuel, is that your fuel meter? Does that thing have a fuel meter? Huh. Scoot, scoot. Another thing you guys might like about this is it's light, very light, lighter than the Scrambler and much lighter than my Thruxton. At least that's what it feels like. It feels really balanced too. Overall, Triumph's done good. Yeah, I mean, these new bikes come with a lot of electronic stuff on it, a lot of new technology that I personally don't care for. Overall, they've, they've really, really done a good job. And this is the second new bike I've test ridden. Let's get this turned in. All right. Oh, that was the gear indicator. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Uh, there we go. I think we can just do that. Oh, there we go. All right, cool, cool. Simple, like it. All right, dudes and dudettes. I'm gonna try and ride that. So let's turn in the turn in the bike. Overall, good bike. I loved it. Oh geez. Uh, once again, thanks again to Empire for letting me test ride this beautiful speed twin. All right, anyways, dudes and do that. Take it easy, make it breezy, and I'll see you guys next time. Say no to crack.